Hey, this is the fifth video in my beginning Minesweeper strategy lesson series. And I hope you've watched or are familiar with the principles of the first four. Uh, I went through a whole bunch of patterns that you should start getting used to recognizing quickly and just automatically from muscle memory, marking mines and uh, clearing squares that are safe. In this video, I wanted to just play through a beginner game, maybe two, we'll see how it goes, and uh, explain how I'm using the strategies that we've discussed to this point. So let's see how it goes. All right, so we've got a bunch of stuff going on here, naturally. Um, first, we've got a one on a corner, so let's mark that as a mine, the only one that it's touching. Again, this should be one of those easy, uh, easiest ones to recognize quickly. Over here we have two ones along a wall up against a um, border of the board, so that means we can open that one. Uh, this is a one straddling a hole, but note that this two obviously does not match that one, so we can't go ahead and clear all of these as we would have been able to if that were another one. So let's keep going. Uh, look, we have another two ones in a row along a wall and up against what we can consider an edge of the board. Um, again, all that means is just that none of these are going to be mines whether that's because they're clear like this or because they don't exist over here. Um, the point is that uh, these two ones are up against uh, kind of a border where nothing else can be happening. So these two ones along a wall up against a border mean that that one can't be a mine. So there we go. Now we can start uh, just sort of clearing mines in a very basic manner. Uh, this isn't really pattern recognition. Uh, it's just kind of the basic, you know, I see this one is already touching a mine, so that one can't be a mine. So let's clear it. Uh, that opens up a couple. Uh, these two threes are both touching the same three squares and only those three uh, covered squares. So all three of these must be mines. So there you go. Um, here we have uh, some strategy could uh, help us here, but it's a little bit more advanced than we've covered. So uh, to be, uh, um, what's the word, realistic, I'm just going to go ahead and guess somewhere. Ah, not helpful. Also not helpful. Ah, okay, so there's some helpfulness. Um, okay, here's a pattern that we've noticed. This two is along a wall and again is up against an effective border, just meaning that none of these three can be mines, which we know because they're all cleared. So a two uh, up against an edge and along a wall, uh, whatever's next to it doesn't matter. Both of these are going to be mines. So we can continue on clearing. This one is already touching one and this two is already touching two mines. So because of both of those facts, we can be doubly sure that this one is not a mine. So we can clear it. This three is now touching three mines. And I believe this is one of the patterns we went over. A three just in a little corner by itself. All three of those are going to be mines. Um, again, uh, there is some strategy here that could help us, but I'm going to guess because we're working with the tools we have. And whew, we got kind of lucky. All right, here is a one on a corner. Uh, it's a little bit different uh, to spot because there's not, you know, a sea of openness around it because it's up against this real edge of the board, but still, it's a one on a corner, so that's going to be a mine. And then this one is already touching a mine now, we know, so neither of those can be a mine because then that one would be touching that one and a second one, so we can clear both of those. Here we have another one on a corner quick and easy. Again, we could have looked at this two and said, all right, that two is already touching one, and this is the only other covered square that two is touching, so one, that must be one as well. But we just saw one on a corner went, bam, there you go. So we can continue on. This one, and this one, and this one, and this one are all touching one mine already, and so we can know that the second one that they're all touching is not a mine. Uh, now here we have both the one on a corner, quick and easy, 
uh, we know as a mine. And similarly, there's a two along a wall and up against an effective edge. So both of these have to be mines because of that two. So that makes that easy. Uh, again, this one we can be doubly sure of because of the one on the corner and the two along a wall up against an edge. And now it looks like we're good because there are zero more mines to mark, but let's be careful and make sure we're doing this right. Um, this one is already touching a mine, so the other covered square it's touching can't be a mine. There you go. We were able to uncover all of them. So just using the strategies that we had and a few lucky guesses, uh, we were able to beat this uh, beginning Minesweeper level. Um, I feel like that's enough. Uh, having me go through another one and maybe make a few guesses might not be super helpful. But uh, if you had any questions about this or about any of the lessons up to this point, uh, please leave a comment and I will be happy to respond. Um, and if it's uh, something a bit complicated, I'd be happy to make a video. And now I'm going to end this beginning series and uh, at some point I will start on a bit of a medium level strategy uh, that goes a little bit deeper, um, but still not, I don't think, too complicated. But until then, happy solving.